Well, hey guys, here's something a little bit different for you today. Um, this is a 2009 Ford Mustang V6. Um, I think it's the premium or something. It doesn't have leather, but it has the shaker audio system. I don't know. Um, but this is my loaner for a while while my car is being worked on. Um, it had some side pieces or some pieces right in front of the mirror. I know this isn't my car, but if you could picture like right here, there were some pieces that were uh, coming loose and they would make a lot of wind noise when they would do so. So uh, this is my loaner and I wanted to show it to you guys. So anyways, we'll go ahead and start it up. As I said, 2009 Mustang V6. Your key functions, lock, unlock, panic, and trunk release. Then you have your old Ford Keyblade. This one is a premium. You can see it's an automatic too. Uh, V6 Coupe Premium, 4 liter V6, 5 speed auto. It is torch red clear coat and dark charcoal cloth inside. So we'll go ahead and start it. And um, I'll do a couple startups and uh, I'll try to throw an exhaust clip in there. So this is awkward left handed holding my camera with the right hand. It sounds pretty good, it just doesn't have a lot of power. Stop dinging. Hush, there you go. And I'll go ahead and rev it from inside. Sounds pretty good. And I'll shut it down and set the camera around the back of the car. Let me grab a bucket first to set it on. Or a box or something. Let's see what I can find. There's the truck. Say hi. Hello, bucket. You'll do just nicely. I will do a uh, rev too with the exhaust view. And I hope it works. Because I've never tried that with this camera before, but we'll see. So here we go. Hope you guys enjoyed that little bit. Like I said, it does sound pretty good for a V6. Um, we'll go ahead and do an interior tour because it's hot outside. And then I'll do a walk around. Like I said, this one is a premium, so it has the Shaker 500 audio system. Let's get some air going because it is hot. Um, here's your driver information system right here. Info setup and reset, old Ford stuff. Not really very user friendly, but it gets the job done. There's a 12 volt power outlet, hazards. Here's the Shaker 500 audio system, sounds good. There we go. So, sounds pretty cool. Here's your temperature adjustment, your zones, five speed automatic, like I said, with manual uh, gear selection, one, two, three, drive. So it's one, two, three, and then drive gives you four and five if you're shifting manually. There's your AC, rear defrost, and recirculate. Dual air vents, kind of airplane styled. They look cool. They blow cold air, so I don't care what they do, how they look, actually. Uh, no auto dimming rear view mirror, as you can see. Hi. Um, headliner is plush and feels pretty good. It's soft, it doesn't feel like a cardboard box or anything. Interior illumination, and those are the only two lights that are inside this car. Put it back in park before I accidentally forget. Here's your emergency brake. Interior lighting system, your footwell lighting for that right there. As I said, this one does have cloth. Um, 
it has the Mustang emblem on the seats and then just pretty sturdy cloth. They are very comfortable seats, very soft. Here you have your wiper controls. They work. And your turn signal controls and high beams. And headlights there and then pull for the fog lights. Interior dim or panel dim rather. Speaker, speaker. There's the hood release down there. Um, so that's pretty much it for the inside. Standard Mustang steering wheel. You all know what those look like. They are very well known. Knock the rear view mirror out of adjustment. Mirror, no vanity light. And on this side, same thing. Very flimsy feeling. They do pop out. They don't slide, however. This one, they do feel very thin. You can see how thin they are. It just feels like a piece of metal or something. I don't know. Power mirror adjustment, which is nice. Good place for it, too. And there's your defrost vent right there. So we'll go ahead and do a walk around on the outside of it. But first, I'll show you the rear seat from the other side because I don't want my driving position messed up because it doesn't have memory seats. Manual recline, power sliding and tilting, as you can see, as well as power lumbar there. This one has P235 55 R17s. Um, pretty standard looking rims. Not the prettiest things. I wish the center was dark on them, on some, how they are on some of them. Your tri stage tail light. Now I'll go ahead and open up the trunk real fast. I forgot to do that. Trunk, trunk, trunk on the key. I guess that's how you have to do it. Just push that blue button. There's your Sirius satellite antenna. If this were a GT, it would say GT there, but it's not. It does have struts, which is nice. Very small trunk and an awkwardly shaped one at that. It kind of goes up in the back, which is weird. There's your Sirius receiver there. It does have a light also, and an emergency release. Your single exhaust outlet, that's how you know it's a V6. You have your reflectors and side lights over here, which those look pretty good. You have your black uh, Mustang pinstriping-ish stuff down there. Antenna there. This is the 45th anniversary edition, which is cool. Kind of exclusive, I guess. I don't know. Headlights and fog lights. You can see they are in the grill rather than on the bumper fog lights. But they look pretty good. I like them like that. This one has been scraped up underneath. You can see where the bumper is pulled down. Um, let's see, what else? Oh. Black plastic mirror caps, they are pretty faded. They need some, uh, like, armor all or something. Not armor all, but there's some other kind of trim you can use. Not trim, treatment. Good grief, I can't talk today. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Oh, dual cup holders here. They do light up. That's part of the my lighting system or whatever. Semi soft touch center console. You just push in on that to open. It has an auxiliary plug and a 12 volt power outlet in there, which I need to get an auxiliary cord in here because I miss my music. There's like a little card holder or something right there. Uh, it is lined with cloth on the bottom, you can see there. Pretty well appointed interior. The dash, hard touch, which they changed for the 2010 year model. Doors, hard touch. You have like this vinyl y. Uh, what's supposed to be perforated trim here but it's not and auto down only window for both sides which you know it's fine whatever uh, let's see I'll try to get in the back seat um, I'm not so sure here's uh, I'll show you headroom I'm like 511 ish 511 give or take a couple and uh, headroom's good in the front, so let's go ahead and check out the back. Also, I'll open the hood. 
Ugh. I do apologize, this is really, really scattered, but it's really impromptu, and I don't know how long I'm gonna have the car, so uh, just wanted to do something quick. Oh, four liter V6. Um, I'll add the power specs and the annotations. Pretty clean looking engine. It does not have struts. You have to use the prop, but I'm not gonna use it because it will be a pain in the butt. There's your air intake box. Um, there's actually a lot of room up under here. Uh, I'd love to drive a GT of this generation. I know it will be quick. In order to access the rear seat, just grab this little tab right here, you can see it. And pull forward on it. And actually, no, because that's about where I'd have the seat. So, uh, getting in the back seat of a Mustang makes your sunglasses fall off, as you can see. And I apologize that it's so zoomed in. I'm not really sure how that happened, but it did. Um, foot room, it's eh. And the seat does not return to the position you had it in before. So with the seat reclined, it's actually livable for short trips across town or something. But for longer journeys, you're not going to want to put tall people back here. Like I said, I'm about 5'11". Headroom, um, not good. My head is over the rear window and I, it, my hair is touching and if I lean back at all, my head hits like that. It's kind of painful. Um, but it's it's not so bad. It's, it is a sports car after all. Can't really expect much better. You do have this very large uh, transmission tunnel here, or drive shaft tunnel rather. And uh, materials back here, all hard plastics. You can see there's your seat belt. Rear seats do fold down, by the way, but I'm not going to do that because that's an ordeal. Ugh. Lord have mercy. It is so tight in this back seat. It's not a very dignified thing getting out of one of these. Ugh. You can actually see this trim here starting to fall off, lose its adhesive. So I'll put that seat back, get my sunglasses back. Um, but anyways, I guess that really pretty much sums it up. There's not a whole lot else to say about the Mustang. I hope you guys have enjoyed this very impromptu tour. And I do apologize that it's so scattered. But anyways, hope you've enjoyed and thanks for watching.